Hey, there's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day. And hey, it's about that time. You gotta get your mower right. It's about time to start mowing. Test plots coming on in. Pretty good, showing some color. Got the neighbors over there. It's looking good. Got the bluegrass right here coming in good. Neighbors renovations looking good. Now look at this. I want to show you something. We'll, we'll address this a little later. Look at that. I got a little moss coming up. I've been here seven years and not the first time have I had any a drop of moss anywhere on my property. And when I re renovated this uh, area right here and put bluegrass in it, look what I got. So I have to, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that for sure. Can't handle that. I'll show you that later. All right, so I got my two push mowers right here that I use around the house and this is a uh, Y Bravo commercial 25 and this is a mass port contractor it's a 21 inch uh, version this isn't no review or nothing on them what we're doing is I'm getting my mowers ready for springtime now you want to put them up right first meaning when you're going into the winter you want to put them up and, and at that time that's when I always go in and do my oil change uh, uh, check all my fluids if there's extra fluids in here my air filter uh, spark plug all that kind of thing just the general basic maintenance and uh, Put it up for the winter or that way when a spring comes I'm ready to rock and roll because if you're anything like me when the, when the air warms up in the springtime Man, you're at mock speed, right? And I, some some of this stuff I ain't gonna have time to go do this or that or if you're a DIY guy and you may take your your mowers to a shop or whatever and get them to do it they're going to be booked slam up so i feel like the best time to do that is after your last time you cut of the season going into winter all right so when winter's over pretty much it looks like we're spring here you can hear the birds chirping first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna check your oil in them make sure my oil's good Yep. That one's right on the money. Let's come over here and check this one. Yep, that one's right on the money. So I'm good to go. So what I'll do before I mow, you know, I'm, I'm planning on mowing one day this coming week. And uh, so I'll crank the mowers and let them sit out here and run for 15, 20, 30 minutes and let them get good and warm, test them out, check the blade engagement, make sure all that's working. That way, when I get into the season and I'm starting to mow wide open, I don't have to worry about trying to get something fixed because I've already checked it out and I know what's going on. you've warmed everything up it's ready there's one more thing you need to do that is you need to change those blades or get those blades sharpened man I cannot tell you how many times we go to a client's yard and they're having issues with their grass and I'll roll up and look at it and their mower the deck will be uneven the blades are not sharp and they're just gouging and butchering their yard and they wonder why it doesn't look good. Just this basic maintenance, making sure your deck's level, things like that, that, that all of that relates to your cutting height. Make sure all that's right. Check your air pressure in your tires if your tires hold air. If you can put a little extra in it to get a little extra height of cut. Now, of course, that's for fescue uh, mainly. Uh, your other turf types, 
uh, depending on where you live, you know, Bermuda and Zoysia and Kentucky Blue and things like that, they can tolerate a little lower cut. But for tall fescue, man, you've got to cut that thing, uh, got to cut that turf at four inches or higher, that's for sure. Now that blade looks good, don't it? Doesn't look like anything's wrong with it, but I'm still gonna take it and I'm gonna put a razor sharp edge on that thing. If you've been watching me any length of time, you know, uh, especially back in the day when I started. This is my old 2000, I think it's a 2000 model X Mark, 48 inch walk behind. It is one of the best cutting mowers I've ever owned. And if not the best cutting, and I've owned a lot of mowers, a lot of commercial mowers in my time. We've got over 20 in the shop right now. But this thing, I know it's a dinosaur and it's old, but it's just something about it that cuts so good. So I've never sold it and I'm always keep it. Last year you saw me do a lot of right ZK mowing. I'll have my right here for mowing some of these bigger areas, but around my house, I'm probably gonna use just this walk behind uh, simply because I'm real peculiar about my yard and I just want the absolute best cut on it. I'm not saying this is better than the right or whatever, but it's lighter, uh, less, you know, weight on the yard. It's a lot of, lots of advantages to using a walk behind mower. And I just, I just want to use it on my yard this year. So uh, we're going to do that. But it's been sitting all year. Uh, last year, going into the fall, of course I changed the oil, changed the air filter, uh, the hydro fluid, all that's ready and good to go. And um, all I got to do is sharpen the blades check my tire pressure. That's a big deal. See, these have these big fat rubber tires on it and you definitely want to check your, your tire pressure. On the side of the tire here, it'll tell you what your pressure's supposed to be. You just make sure it's got that in it. And why is it important to check your tire pressure? Well, if you've got one tire that's a little low on air, your mower deck's gonna set a little cock at it, right? You want that mower deck flush with the yard or, or level with the yard and and no no variation either way so make sure your tires have the same pressure on each side so we're going to check the oil in this bad boy she looks good now here's something here's some, something cool about this mower since day one it is always fired up on the second pool no matter what time of the year no matter how long it's set so let's see if that holds true. Parking brakes up. Keys on, about half throttle. Neutral. Come on, buddy. I feel like I'm missing something. Ah, choke. One. All right, so come on and we'll go get these blades sharpened. So next to matching up 
your mowing height with your turf type that right there is probably the single most important thing you'll ever do with your mower is keep your mower blades sharp now this right here is some commercial lawn care sharpening equipment it's actually made for lawnmower blades it, it takes that grinder option completely out of the picture it's designed and made just to sharpen a mower blade and put that perfect third degree angle on it every single time and get them razor sharp. So hey, keep your eyes peeled on the channel, okay? Because I got a video coming up real soon about uh, blade sharpening and, 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 and how to do it and what not to do and that kind of thing. And I'm gonna kind of go over in detail this magnematic setup and I've got a real good deal for you on the way that concerns all this. So keep your eyes out, uh, like, subscribe, share, tell all your buddies, all that kind of thing. I'm getting ready to burn the road up because I'm about to die to mow my yard. Okay, it's ready. I'm going to go cut it today and start filming on that. That'll be the first mowing video of the year, so be watching for that. And, uh, man, I'm tired of talking. I got to go. Check you later.